Hello there! Samsung have always been able to make beautiful smartphones. The whole line of fashionable smartphones with the A letter serves as the proof. This line exists as a manifesto, stating that in order for your smartphone to be considered absolutely stunning, you don't need a belt guy. Not this one. Yes, this one. Let's take a look at Samsung Galaxy A80. Without further ado, let me say that this is one of the most beautiful smartphones that Samsung has ever produced. And even more than that, this is one of the most beautiful smartphones that I have ever held in my hands. Metal Ends, Gorilla Glass 6 at the back and Conning Gorilla Glass 3 at the front mirror-like real surface. Everything is so smooth and rounded, believed back panel that looks like a mirror. And it is weighty, not heavy but weighty. It is important not to confuse these two terms. For a long time I did not come across substantial phone that feels good in my hands. And the screen, the screen which occupies almost 86% of the front panel, with no notches whatsoever. However, let us go straight to the cons of the device before I start signing it prices once again. But now the motorized camera until seems to be popping up everywhere. Subjectively, I am still not not sure about it. Sure, they withstand 150,000 million openings and closures, but the tech still scares me. Let's wait one year and then discuss reliability. Heating. Yes, I have pre-sale sample, and you likely won't have this problem. But now the device is heating up from everything. The games, the camera, even Wi-Fi. No better is an optical in-screen fingerprint sensor. It is accurate enough, but slow, even considering the fact that I am very undemanding in that regard. Fingerprint magnet. The A80 will connect all the prints and all the possible dust, but they can be removed as easily. Mini jack, or rather its absence. Disgusting trend that I had with every fiber of my being. This concludes this neat picture section. And now to the good stuff. In terms of power, everything is good. Qualcomm SDM 730, Snapdragon 730, 8 cores, Adreno 618 and 8 GB of RAM. Before A series were extremely fashionable, with nothing special when it comes to hardware. Here everything is fine. Player knowns battleground, asphalt and all these scenes run without problems. A huge number of heavyweight apps walk quietly in the background without shutting down. Storage 128 gigs and that's it. You can thank Apple for that. The screen is Super AMOLED with a diagonal of 6 and 7 inches and resolution of 2400s to 1080 and pixel density of 393 dots per inch. More than enough. Because of the rounded corners, some parts are cut. This was especially noticeable in player knowns battle ground. Yes, only one letter is cut, but that still stings. The aspect ratio is 20 to 9, which might look like 21 to 9 on paper, but in reality it is not. Captain Obvious is obvious. Viewing angles and brightness are all fine. Games, videos, books. The display copes well with everything, although there is some kind of artificial twisting of colors. More vivid, brighter, more fun and all that. To fix that, use the manual adjustment, while balance setting of three standards RGBs. Or choose normal color setting. Cameras. Perhaps this is the main feature of A80, in addition to design. With them too there are some issues. Albeit minor, the most important of them, it is stated that if the smartphone detects free fall, it immediately closes the module. In fact, it detects the fall immediately, but does not have time to close the camera when flying from a meter height onto the bed. This is one of the biggest non-subjective issues I have with the device. Otherwise, here's what we have. 48 megapixels wide angle, f2 26 mm with PDAF, and 8 megapixels ultra wide, f2 and 2, 12 mm plus a bonus in the form of time of flight 3D camera, f1 and 2. 
you get good photos, good enough. The colors are just a little, very gently twisted, but within reason. No complaints about the details, and even in the darkness of the night, A80 copes well with its tasks. You can make videos in 4K and 30 FPS, as well as Full HD at 60 FPS without electronic stabilization or 30 FPS. With the selfie camera all is a bit confusing. One might think that you can just rotate the camera and get the same thing, but no. Not so easy. The selfie camera can't write video in 4K. There's no autofocus. All the slow-mo disappears. However, there is a third lens, which is strange in itself. Nevertheless, here are selfies for you. I don't enjoy making them, honestly. And I don't really know how, but I'll do it for you. Therefore, here they are. Admire. I remind you, Samsung can fix many of the problems soon enough before the phones can get to you. Optical stabilization needs to be here, and also slow mo and super slow mo are only HD. Everything runs on Android 9 with one UI shell, and it works well. No problems here at all. If you want to find out more, Go to the text version of the review in the description of this video, and there, there will be a link to another review which contains the info you need. Yes, we need more traffic. The battery has a capacity of 3700 mAh, which is a very good indicator for a smartphone of this level and you can easily count on a day of intensive work. It is clear that this is not a flagship. This is a top-quality fashionable phone. It has flagship or near-flagship characteristics, but it's not a flagship. Yes, here you are both a design and solid cameras and performance, but there are a few points that make it clear that this is not all Samsung is capable of. The motorized camera until is a thing that, as for me, is still controversial. And the rest. This is the perfect smartphone for those tired of Apple. Yes, A80 is not cheap. But when is that cheap? Because I tend to think that this phone is a piece of art and nothing less. I will take my leave and remind you once again that Dmitry Koval has prepared for you a more extensive text review, which is already lying somewhere on Root Nation. And you can find it by clicking on the link in the description.